All right, Dave. You now deserve a timeout in the basement for the whole night due to your unacceptable behavior at the dining table and in the living room. Now stay here for the whole night and think about what you did. That is so fucking it. I will now blow up the entire house with dynamite, and I am lighting the entire basement up on fire with gasoline. Crayon. <laughs> You better not destroy my house, Dave. Or I swear to God, you will suffer big time. Oh my God, Dave, have TNT. Holy shit, it's a bomb. Everyone, take out that fire. Oh my god. Dave Franklin Johnson. Have you lost your goddamn mind right now? You have crossed the red line. You destroyed our own house. How could you? First mistake, misbehaving at Dollywood, second mistake, throwing a tantrum at CeCe's pizza, then you hijacked a mall train and injured a little girl and then ruined our vacation at the Uplander Hawks game where you ran across the field naked. What is wrong with you? And look at us. We are now living in a hotel for what you did by blowing up our house with a bomb. And it will take months to have our house be rebuilt back the way it was. Your actions even made your daughter Yenna cry because of your crazy shit. And now we are homeless thanks to you. All you had to do was eat the goddamn salad. But no. You had to throw a super extreme meltdown over it. That was very stupid of you to do that. You know what? You are now in mega timeout for what you did. You are grounded until the new house gets rebuilt, and we even hired construction workers to come rebuild our house. But Catherine, I am very sorry for what I did to the house. Please don't punish me for what I did. I'm so sorry. Why? You better be more than sorry Dave, because sorry isn't going to rebuild the house. Maybe if you just eat your salad and didn't blow up the house in the first place, we would have never ended up in this horrible disaster. Now. Go inside that bedroom, right now. I am so done with your crap. Why? Alright, now that I am in the hotel, I am going to do some paperwork on the computer. What can possibly go wrong? Why? What was that loud crying noise? An adult screaming. I think I know who that is. I will be going up to their room to investigate. Dave, someone wants to talk to you. He's in our room. I'm Officer Kevin and Andrew. Why are you guys here along with the hotel manager? 
Dave Johnson, otherwise known as the Childish Dad, I have received multiple complaints from my clients about your super loud and annoying temper tantrums, which I heard all the way from my office. I need you to stop screaming super loud like a five-year-old man-child. Also, I even had noise complaints from your neighbors, including the hotel manager who called us about this situation. We are now getting sick and tired of us being notified about you causing trouble in Beyond City. This has to stop right this instant. Also, we have decided on your punishment for blowing up the house. You will be doing community service. You will be helping with the construction workers with rebuilding your old house back the way it was. And the only way to avoid being arrested by us. I agree with officers Andrew and Kevin. Also, keep it quiet in my hotel. People here are trying to relax here. If I get another noise complaint, you will be kicked out of my hotel. Understand? Um, yes. I do. All right then. I agree with Leonardo, Officer Andrew and Officer Kevin. Starting tomorrow, we will come by to this hotel and have you help the construction workers rebuild a new house for you and your family. We are leaving now. See you tomorrow in the morning. Dave, I hope you learn your lesson. Whoa. Whoa.